Thank you all for gathering here today to witness the acceptance of one of the most dignified awards of all history. It is my honor to present myself, Helena McConnett, with the Participation Award for completing my first semester of college at Pepperdine University. With over a thousand candidates this semester, I believe I stood out like a shining star, blinding the rest of the competition, and I owe it all to my freshman dorm, the CAF, and Combinating. <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to the Banowski Baddies and the Banowski Freshman Dorm. Although some freshman athletes and first years get the luxury of living in apartment style housing in Seaside, Lover, Nipper Towers, I believe that Pepperdine assigned me to Banowski because they knew I had what it took to endure it all. <laughs> With Banowski being the farthest dorm away from main campus, Pepperdine knew that only a select few of us could truly endure the gruesomely long walk it takes to get to class every single day. Living in a suite has also taught me the, the most valuable lessons which I will cherish for the rest of my life. Lessons of friendship, but also the most important lesson of learning how to share a bathroom with seven other girls. <laughs> Despite the challenges, I've grown to love my shoebox-sized room, twin bed, and lack of air conditioning. And considering that I'm still here four months in, I think I can officially call it my second home. <laughs> Next, I'd like to extend a hand to my source of malnourishment. <clears throat> Excuse me, <laughs> I meant source of nutrition, the waste cafe. When I feel as though I can eat a horse, I know I can depend on the Pepperdine calf to always provide me with what I need. And being the generous person that I am, I am constantly trying to give my meal points away to other people so they too can enjoy the um, delicious food of the calf as well. Whether it be the undercooked pizza, ridiculously <laughs> long lines, or chicken tenders that have yet to fail me, <laughs> I know I would not be standing here today if it weren't for their contributions. <laughs> <laughs> Last but certainly not least, I'd like to give the biggest thanks to Professor Barry Fife and Combinating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never would I have ever thought that this class would be the light to my gloomy days and speeches would turn out to be music to my ears. <laughs> Not only did I gain so much insight from all of the lectures, but I'm positive I've also gained a muscle or two from hiking up the CCB steps <laughs> two times a week. <laughs> and thanks to Com 180, I have conquered my biggest fear. Don't believe me? Well, here are a few texts between my roommate and I when we discovered that we'd be taking Fife's course. I have public speaking and I'm so scared. Oh, <laughs> gee. No, it's my worst nightmare. <laughs> my first class, 8 a.m. The professor that was apparently super funny and nice, but great, difficult. It's getting me dead. Why do we have to take public speaking, bro? At least it will suffer. I wish I was making that up. <laughs> As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I have learned, <laughs> I have learned to obtain the most crystal clear pictures for my presentations, learn <laughs> how to use note cards without having to read directly from them, but I've also gained and mastered the most important art of writing, memorizing, and presenting a speech all within 48 hours or less. <laughs> With all that being said, I just ultimately wanted to say thank you. <laughs> thank you to Vanowski for the friendship and new negotiation skills. Thank you to the CAF for preventing my freshman 15. <laughs> and thank you to Professor Fife for teaching me how to end a speech like a pro. That being, to always end with a quote. <laughs> That's it. Perfect. <laughs>